Hi guys, welcome back to another RAS Weekends, and this weekend is all about the units. In today's video, guys, we're going to be taking a deep dive look at all of the Southern Illyrian units, their stats, what they look like, which they look fantastic, by the way, and how they're going to operate on the battlefield. So stay tuned for all this juicy Juicy unit heaven, guys. First things first, though, I wanted to take a look at some of these textures just to show you how glorious and how much detail goes into these textures. This is a texture for one of the Dalmatian Thurio Foroi. And if you have a look, look at the amount of detail that goes in here. Look how far I can zoom in and how high quality it is. It is absolutely stunning, my friends. Absolutely stunning. Here's another one that shows the Liburnian Thuriophori. And just look at the amount of detailing that goes into these weapons, into all of these glorious textures, guys. So much work has gone into this. So much attention to detail and historical accuracy as well. And I think the mod team deserve big props for this. It is really, truly amazing. Remember, all of these units have seven variants to give that variety on the battlefield. So each soldier has a potential seven variants. That really brings all of the units to life, I believe. So fantastic job to the mod team. Very nice indeed. So guys, here we are with the glorious Illyrian base roster for the Southern Illyrian. So this is all of the base roster for them in terms of what you're generally going to get for most of the Southern Illyrian factions. There are a couple of minor differences which I'll go into later, but this is going to form the basis of your roster throughout the campaign for those Southern Illyrian factions. So let's start off with the Slave Javelin Men over here. Definitely wearing the right attire for their name, aren't they? They are really not a fantastic unit, but they are going to be your basic Javelin unit throughout the game. I've got a feeling that these guys are going to be perfect for garrisoning because they're going to be very, very cheap indeed because, of course, their stats are not great at all. Seven morale, four melee attack, and seven defense with a missile attack of nine. Not going to be doing a lot of damage, these guys, at all, are they? But a uh, basic unit for you there as your starting Javi unit. So now let's move on to the Slave Slingers, guys. And again, looking the part. And you can tell that these guys are the lowest strata of population within your society, can't you? By looking at the detail on these guys. Again, they're not going to have the best stats ever, but they are long range, 140 um, meters range, which is not too bad at all. Five missile attack for a slinger as well. Not awful, but again, they're not going to be fantastic. So if you want some archers, you might have to look elsewhere. Maybe Crete, something like that, or maybe Rhodes for some glorious slingers. But of course, they're going to do a decent job killing enemies, especially from the back guys as well. Always remember that with slingers. And then most of the rosters get these Southern Illyrian skirmishers looking absolutely glorious. They are basically the equivalent of Greek Peltas, but for the Illyrians. I absolutely love their shields. I think really cool. Throughout these, all of these rosters, the shields are fantastic. You know I love shields, guys. So uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic looking unit. I especially like these domed helms that a lot of the Illyrians have. I think they look fantastic. And these guys are not too bad as a skirmisher unit. 19 defense, pretty darn good. With 11 morale, which is okay. Six melee attacks, never going to do too much. But 12 missile attack for their six javis is really quite a decent, uh, decent missile attack with a decent javelin unit. So let's now move on to the Southern Illyrian Levy, guys. I just wanted to bring your attention to the various different helms and hats that these guys are wearing. You can see some wearing hats that they would be using to toil the fields because, of course, this unit is a levy unit. It's a unit that is designed to just hold the line for a little bit while you can get other better units into position. Again, fantastic shields, a big spear unit, and I just absolutely love those helms. Look at those. And as you might expect from a levy unit, guys, not the best stats in the world, but also not awful. Honestly, 14 morale, 
pretty decent for a levee unit. Um, and defense of 29, it's not good. They've got no armor whatsoever, one armor. So they're not going to be good against missiles. But defense skill of 24 is actually really high because these guys are pretty big spear units. Look how big those spears are. Very nice indeed. And these guys have very good stamina and are fast moving too. They also get a few javelins to fire as well at the enemy. So seven javelins to fire, which I honestly think these guys are going to be more powerful than you think. So early game, when you're getting cheap units, these guys are going to be pretty good with javelins and these really good defensive spears. Just don't let them get attacked by any missile troops because they will be cut down like no tomorrow. And now we come on to an epic looking unit. The Southern Illyrian Axemen. Those shields are so cool indeed. Their helms are amazing. Look at those axes as well. The different textures. You've got ones held together by rope there and you've also got standard ones too. Absolutely beautiful looking unit. I particularly love the swirling patterns that are common throughout these rosters for the Illyrians. I think they're really, really cool. And look at those belts, guys. They are fantastic. I absolutely love those. Honestly, the amount of detail in here, even the on the scabbard, you can see the thing that's holding it onto the belt there. It is an amazing amount of detail. Who's ever going to zoom into this apart from crazy people like me? <laughs> so absolutely fantastic. I love it. As a theme that goes throughout the Illyrians, guys, they are generally very fast moving and have very good stamina, which is really, really good. It's so valuable in battle. I cannot tell you how valuable it is. When you have a Thracian roster with the same, it's so, so valuable. These guys are pretty much your sort of bog standard line holding infantry. 15 morale, 14 melee attack and 28 defense. Not a great amount of defense, but they are armor piercing with their axe and they have six javies too. So these guys are going to be pretty good shock infantry. Imagine sending them around the flanks of some hoplites, throwing their javies, charging into the enemy with that 14 armor piercing melee attack. These guys are going to be pretty darn good right throughout the game, especially against heavily armored enemies like the Romans. <laughs> So now let's look at the Southern Illyrian Spearmen. Look at those shields. Absolutely glorious, aren't they? They are absolutely stunning. What a fantastic looking unit once again. As you can tell by looking at them, they are not heavily armored like many of the Illyrian troops, but they are a decent defensive unit nonetheless with, again, pretty large spears. So these guys are pretty much the yin to the yang of the Axemen. They are a more defensive unit, something to hold the lines, beat off cavalry as well with their spears, of course, because they have 15 morale, 13 melee attack. But remember, with a spear, guys, it's not quite as much as with any other weapon, but 34 defense as opposed to the 28 of the Southern Illyrian Axemen. So it's whether you want to have a more defensive line or whether you want to have a more offensive line is whether you choose between these two units. A good mix would be something I recommend with the Axemen flanking and with the Spearmen holding the line. And now we get on to a proper unit, guys. The Illyrian Epilectoi in the Epilectoi style of the Helenes. These guys are awesome. They have that sicker there, which I believe the sicker just means knife. Um, so they have that short knife there, which is really cool indeed. With these awesome like breastplates, look at the detail on some of those breastplates. They are fantastic. Here you go, a closer look at those glorious breastplates. And it also shows that these guys are heavily Hellenic in style because they are fighting with Linothoraces on that you will see very commonly with the Thuriophoroi or the Hoplites of Greece. Suffice to say, guys, these are a very elite unit. 21 morale. 45 defense, of which 17 is defense against missiles, armor, and shield. They are going to be beastly. They're going to be able to take Javis to the face and carry on 
going with 16 melee attack and a couple of javis on top of that as well. These guys, again, are fast moving, which is absolutely insane for such a heavy unit. That is going to be so valuable. If you can get these guys around quicker and flanking because they have an armor-piercing weapon, these guys are insane. They are very, very good. And I cannot wait to use them against some bastard Greeks uh, down in the south of Illyria. That is going to be so fun. What a beastly unit. 16 melee attack, by the way, with that armor-piercing weapon. That is very good indeed, guys. That is very, very good. And here we go with the Southern Illyrian Spearmen. What an absolutely amazing looking unit once again. And suffice to say, they are, of course, elite. Look at the detail on the shields and the breastplates and the Linothoraces, guys. These guys even have capage, so that's how you know that they are elite. What an amazing looking unit. And again, these units are similar to the base level units. They are the yin and the yang. These are the more defensive unit with a little bit more defense at 46. Same defense against missiles though, but not quite as much morale or attack. So these are your cav killers. These are the cav killers or the ones that you want to hold the line while you flank with the epileptoi a very nice unit indeed one thing to note though guys these are not fast moving so these are going to move the same pace as the greeks or the romans um, so do be wary of that if the rest of your army is fast moving and you're trying to move everyone else into place these guys are going to lag behind a little bit as well and one thing to note with most of the illyrians they get combat bonuses in woods or snow too so Fighting in winter with the Illyrians does not give any debuffs. In fact, it gives you a bonus, which is just awesome. And I just wanted to say before we move on, guys, these stats are pretty much done. They're pretty much there, but don't be surprised if in a few months or a next patch, they might be changed slightly. So, of course, always take these stats with a little bit of a grain of salt because as they keep revisiting units, rosters, and getting feedback, feedback of course, they're going to be balancing it out even more and maybe changing a few stats but they're not going to change dramatically before we get out onto the patch so now let's go on to the southern illyrian cavalry and as you can tell a very light javelin cavalry unit looking awesome but again you can tell just by looking at them that they are a very light cavalry indeed and these guys are pretty much the equivalent of the Prodromoi, just the Illyrian version. They don't have great morale, they don't have great defense, but they are fast moving, which of course is very good for running down enemies. And chucking those seven javelies, javelies? javelins into the enemies is of course going to do some decent damage in the battle. So never sleep on light cavalry, unlike me. I always sleep on light cavalry, I do not enjoy using them too much but they can be very very useful especially early game and next up we have the illyrian thurio Foroi cavalry so you can see with the thurio Foroi shield they have the thurios shield on them a quite a large shield for cavalry at the time what a cool looking unit again i just love the little details on these like, look at the detail on that helm there. That did not need to be there, but it's just adding extra dimensions to the textures, to the quality of the look of the troops. It's absolutely beautiful. And I've just noticed these three little nails in the shield too. Like, who thinks of that? Who thinks to put the nails on there? Absolutely fantastic. I love it. These troops, of course, are your better javelin cavalry with 18 defense, 11 morale, and 7 melee attack. Not going to be good in melee, but remember that charge that they do have, 27 charge, is not too bad at all, guys. So if you want to use these guys in melee, best thing to do, charge them in, get them out straight away, and just use that 27 charge over and over again. Again, 9 missile attack for their javis, so these guys can be quite useful if you use them correctly, which I don't. <laughs> Now let's move on to the Illyrian Noble Cavalry. Absolutely glorious. Again, you can see the Linothoraces, but I love the striped um, feathers in the top of the helms there. Very, very cool indeed. 
Again, just look at the detail on this soldier here. The ram on the side of the helm, the textures along the edge of the helm, and on the Linothoraces too. I mean, we even have a return of our good friend Sheila LaBeouf right there in the middle of his chest. As expected, these are your elite cavalry guys with 14 morale 12 melee attack and 12 alt attack 28 defense for cavalry as well is comparative to the thessalians to the hetairoi so these are a fantastic cavalry unit and 36 charge is actually awesome that is really really good indeed but the thing that really sets these guys apart is the fact that their secondary weapon their sicker that they have in their scabbards down here that you can see in those scabbards that secondary weapon is armor piercing so these are certified cav killers get these up against hetairoi get them up against cataphracts get them up against the Salian cavalry and Zistaphoroi, and they are going to have a field day. They are going to be butchering like no tomorrow because of that 12 attack that is armor piercing. Now, remember, if you press alt, guys, and press the attack command, they should get their secondary weapon out. So if you want to do that, you can do, but you're probably, you know, reducing a little bit of the charge because they don't have spears for that charge but a fantastic, fantastic cavalry unit nonetheless. And now we move on to the Southern Illyrian General, and once again, an absolutely beastly looking unit. And of course, like all General's bodyguards, they're gonna have fantastic stats, aren't they? With 15 morale, 12 melee attack, and 12 alt attack. With that armor-piercing weapon, they're basically just an upgraded version of the Noble Cavalry with 30 defense instead of 28 and 39 charge instead of 36. So they are going to be absolutely savage on the battlefield. So that concludes the base roster, guys, but don't go away because we are going to be going into all of the unique units for each of the Southern Illyrian factions. So let's move on to the Del Mate guys. Now they have a couple of unique things about their roster. First of all, they have a Northern Illyrian general rather than a Southern Illyrian general. And I think they've been moved across to a Southern Illyrian roster from what I've said in my previous videos where I said they have a Northern one. They now have a Southern Illyrian roster due to the history and historical sources and they have a couple of unique units but that means that they don't have the noble spearmen or the noble cavalry so a little bit down on power on that but they do have the epileptoi though so don't worry you're gonna get the epileptoi anyway but they have a couple of unique units the dalmatian Thurio Foroi is right in front of your eyes. I absolutely love these hats with the gold and brass bosses on them with the little pointed hat at the top. What an amazing, cool looking unit indeed. Again, with the big Thurios shield, very nice to see as well. And they have capes, which we all love a bit of capage, don't we, guys? Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. And these guys live up to their reputation with the capage. They are an absolutely fantastic unit. They are not fast moving, unfortunately, but they have an amazing amount of defense skill of 30, 41 defense for these guys. 16 melee attack with a spear unit is pretty insane as well. And 18 morale two with a load of javelins six javelins to fire guys these are a really really solid unit that is going to see you through to the late game really cool to see and you can understand why they don't have the noble spearman now can't you next we come on to the dalmatian footman guys absolutely amazing looking unit one of my favorite looking units so far and make sure you do comment down below which unit is your favorite and which unit you are looking forward to playing with the most just look at these guys absolutely glorious 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 i love them i love them these guys are fast moving they have quite low defense though because they have so little armor as you can see some of them with the breastplates on but uh you know not a huge amount of armor 
on these guys. As you can see, quite a large shield though. So only nine defense against missiles. But again, they have a load of javis, six javis to fire and 17 morale and 11 melee attacks. So these guys are a decent light infantry unit. Good for flanking, good for firing javis into the enemy. Maybe not so good in the main battle line, as you can see, but they're going to be a decent flanking unit nonetheless. Very cool to see. So let's move on to the Labeate, guys. But before we do, I just wanted to say that the RDAI and the Illyrian Kingdom have standard Illyrian, Southern Illyrian rosters. So no unique units for them, but of course they are very close to plenty of unique units in Greece and Macedon as well. So plenty of options for recruitment for those guys in general. The Lobeate have the standard Southern Illyrian roster with two unique units. First of all, they have the Labeatean Light Infantry, which is a little javy infantry with a little sicker as well, a little knife, curved knife that you can see. I do really like the look of these guys because you can kind of tell that they are not your standard skirmisher. I love the hats too, really cool indeed. And as usual, these are fast moving units with very good stamina. Now in terms of them being a light infantry unit, a light javelin unit, they are actually really good. Going to stand up to the Peltas of Greece with 20 defense. Not much against uh, missiles though, so do be careful of that. They've only got one defense against missiles, so do not let them get hit by missiles because they will fall very quickly. But 14 morale is fantastic. Eight missile attack is not amazing, but it is um, eight melee attack is not amazing, but it's fine. You don't really want these guys to get into melee and the nine missile attack with their javis. So these guys are a really mobile, nice javi unit. And now we move on to the Labeatean Thurio Foroi. And as you can tell by looking at them, they are not as elite as the previous Thurio Foroi that we saw for the Del Mate. So these are a bit of a lighter Thurio Foroi unit. As you can see, not much armor on these as well, but I just love the look of them. I love the shields really really cool and i just love the fact that you can tell the difference between all of these units and just the variation in all of these shields these units these helms it's just absolutely stunning isn't it and as you can see from the stats guys 34 defense so not amazing defense that's less than most standard thuriophore or greek hoplite units but it is fine it's not too bad at all but 16 morale and 15 melee attack is really not bad i cannot fault that that is going to be really good for a spear unit to have 15 melee attack that is fantastic and again they have a load of javis so you really want to be using javelins a lot when you are playing as the illyrians because that can absolutely savage armies before they even get into the melee so that is going to be really really powerful these ones are not fast moving because they are Thurio Foroi, but they do have very good stamina, so that's fantastic. And I think these are going to be more powerful than you expect, to be honest. And I just wanted to draw your attention to this sword. Look at the detailing on that. That is insane. Look at the amount of detail that has gone into that sword. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is amazing. And here's another one. Oh my days. Fantastic. Now let's move on to my particular favorite Illyrian faction, the Dardanian. The Dardanians don't get the Epilectoi or the Noble Spearmen, but that is for a very good reason because they have their own versions of them as well. So they do have a really nicely well-rounded roster and the only Illyrians to have phalangites too. Now, first up, we have the Dardanian Spearmen to replace the standard Southern Illyrian Spearmen. And as you can see, these guys have a different look. There's a few guys with the peasants hats on there as well and i just love those shields once again i'm gonna keep saying that i know i know i repeat myself a lot but it is just amazing all of this detail what a glorious dardanian unit ready to go raiding 
into Macedon. These are pretty equivalent to hoplites with 15 morale, 13 melee attack, and 35 defense. Their shield makes a lot of their defense against missiles, so try not to get these fellas attacked from behind by missiles, because they are going to fall pretty quickly. They are not fast moving because of those massive shields, so do bear that in mind as well, but a decent standard mid-tier unit. Now let's move on to what is potentially the most interesting Illyrian unit in the game, the Dardanian Pikeman, the only pike unit of the Illyrians. Really, really cool. A post-reform unit, I believe, these guys are going to be very, very interesting to use, and whether you use them or not is completely up to you. It probably will be worth it if you are going down into Macedon just to match their phalangites. I don't think you're going to be able to destroy their phalangites with these boys, but matching them nonetheless so that you can use your faster infantry and cavalry to flank and encircle the enemy. So as you can see from their tunics, they are not very armored, this unit, but 16 morale and 20 melee attack is not too bad at all. 33 defense is a little bit low, and the low armor, of course, is going to be hard to combat when you go to war against the Halkaspides and the Agima of Macedon. But as I say, a very interesting unit, whether you want to use these guys or not completely up to you. If you like playing with Phalanx, then use these and go and flank with your superior flanking units. And now we come on to the big boys, the monsters of the Dardanians, the Dardanian noble spearmen. As you can see, some of these have male because of the Celtic influences in the region, which is really, really awesome to see. I love the bronze shields all over them, and I especially love the... Uh, the tops of the helms, the plumage on the helms. Just again, looking at the detail in them. Look at the uh, sort of clasp in the middle of the chain. Look at the helms. These are an absolutely stunning, stunning unit. And as you might expect from such an epic looking unit, they have epic stats as well. 18 morale, 15 melee attack, and 45 defense. A very, very good Spearman unit. And if you want to hold the lines with these boys instead of the pikemen, you are going to be well served by them. Definitely. They are going to be very, very good for you indeed. A really glorious unit. One thing to note as well is they have an insane charge for a spear unit. 21 charge for a spear unit is absolutely savage. So um, these are not just simply defenders. They can go on the offense as well. What a cool unit. I absolutely love them. And finally for the Dardanians, we have the Dardanian Light Cav. Pretty much peasants on wheels, shall we say. <laughs> peasants on wheels. Um, these are your sort of Prodromoi, your Illyrian Light Cavalry unit indeed. And as you can see, pretty much equivalent stats to the Prodromoi or the Illyrian Light Cavalry. Um, they are you know, a light missile cavalry. Not going to be great against missiles, not going to be great in melee, but they can still do a decent job on the battlefield, especially charging down routing troops. So that's the end of all the factions, guys, and their unique units of the Southern Illyrians, but there are some AOR units dotted around as well. Three AOR units to represent other tribes and their unique units too. So let's have a look at these guys. So let's now take a look at the Peneste Axemen, representing one of the stronger tribes from the southern Illyrian region. As you can see, nice and light in terms of their armor. Not much armor on, just the helms with some lovely little shields in there too, with some really cool designs once again. In terms of their stats, they are an armor-piercing unit with those axes again guys which is really good and fast moving but they have a charge of 22 which is pretty insane 
for a unit like this. 22 charge for an infantry unit is absolutely ruthless. And of course, they are effective against armor with 15 morale and 14 melee attack. Not much defense, so if you do get these guys, please use them to flank and attack. Do not defend with them. If cavalry especially run into these guys, they are going to get flattened. So make sure that you are using them in an effective way by flanking the enemy and charging them as well. They should do very well against armored units. They'll take a lot of losses against armored units, but they will deal out more than they are taking most likely. So a really cool little versatile unit there. So next we come on to the Autariati Swordsmen. The Autariati were a very important tribe pre the start of this mod and were kind of, uh, you know, left in the dust by the RDAI, which is why they aren't a faction themselves, but they did have a lot of power pre the start of the mod. So there are two units to represent them in here. And one of them is these swordsmen. And as you can see, we've got the peasant hats again. We've got farmers from the fields coming out with their sicker and their little shields to do a lot of damage to the enemies of Illyria. And as you can see, they have relatively good stats. 25 defense, 12 charge is not fantastic for such a light infantry unit. But again, they are fast moving. They have 50 morale, which is really decent for a light infantry unit and only 10 melee attack. So these are more of a levy unit in general. But the Autariati have a little trick up their sleeve, and it is these Autariati nobles, these awesome looking spear units. They look mean and ready for battle, don't they? Again, the belts and the breastplates are really, really cool to see. And these guys have very different colored capes too, which is really, really cool. A very mean looking unit, if I do say so myself. And their look is matched by their stats, guys. They are fast moving for a spearman unit, which is not common at all. So it's really nice to see a fast moving spear unit as well. 41 defense, only nine of which is against missiles, because as you can see, they're not hugely armored, are they? Uh, but yeah, only nine of which is against missiles, but amazing defense skill. 18 morale as well, 15 melee attack with a spear, and they have six javis to throw into the enemy with 11 missile attack. So these guys are an insanely versatile spear unit. They are going to do very well holding the line, but they're also going to do fantastically flanking. So these are pretty much all you can eat buffet of spearmen, these boys. Really, really nice unit. And uh, I do really like the look of them as well. Very cool unit to get from the AOR. So that marks the end of all of the Illyrian units, my friends. But we have some brand new AOR units of the Greeks as well, which I'm going to show you off as a bonus. But if you have got to this point and you do enjoy this video, guys, a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated. And share this with anyone else who is interested in Total War and Illyrian history. So let's now move on to these Greek AOR units, guys. The Arcadian Peltas found in Arcadia. These are a standard Peltast unit unique to the region. Pretty standard stats for a Peltast, but 10 missile attack is relatively good, so a decent Javi unit overall. And next we have the Thessalian Peltast, my friends. So something else to bring into Thessaly, which is really cool to see indeed. Very nice. Not just the Thessalian cavalry now, these guys as well. And as you can tell, pretty low tier unit. But even with that low tier, they have decent stats with that 20 defense, that 8 morale, 7 melee attack, and the 10 missile attack. So again, going to be a decent Peltast unit. Next, we have the Cypriot Tarantine Cavalry, and I love their shields. Look at some of the designs on the shields, and of course, those monstrously big helms as well. They are really, really cool to see. The first AOR unit in Cyprus, my friends. So now you can get some extra AOR units in Cyprus if you want. And these boys are 
are a pretty good Tarantine cavalry with 24 defense, 29 charge, and 15 morale. Their melee attack is not fantastic, but it's not awful either. And of course, the javelins to fire into the enemy. Overall, a really good rounded missile cavalry unit. And I think probably worth going to Cyprus 4 if you are a missile cavalry stan. And next we move on to the Deuteroy, which has become an AOR unit as well. These are your standard sort of pikeman unit, and they are no longer just all white. There is a lot of detail going on on these boys. And again, the shields are just absolutely amazing, aren't they? absolutely glorious what a glorious looking unit and i love the addition of some extra color for these boys and as we've seen with the deuteroy before they are not a fantastic pike unit they're okay 30 defense 13 morale and 60 melee attack but if you've not seen my eparote campaign then do check that out but uh yeah they're not they're not an amazing pike unit shall we say but pike units in general are relatively good so they're gonna be good in general and finally, because they now have the Ambrachio Phalangites for Epirus just being recruitable in Epirus, there is now the Epirote Phalangites in the rest of the Epirote lands and in your roster. A very colourful unit and very nice indeed to see. Now they are not quite as good as the Ambrachiotes, with the Ambrachiotes having 36 defence and a little bit more melee attack. But again, they're going to be a decent mid-tier standard phalangite unit for you to use in your Epirus campaign. So there we have it, guys. The units of Illyria. I hope you did enjoy this video. We've got another one coming tomorrow on the Northern Illyrian units as well. So make sure you subscribe so you get notified about that. And if you did enjoy, guys, a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated. Make sure you share this with anyone interested in Illyrian history as well and comment down below your favorite Illyrian unit that you have seen so far but anyway guys without further ado thank you very much for watching it's been a pleasure as always and I will see you all again on the next video